Hi, my name is Lynn Clark, Head of Customer Success here at Rockport Val. Today we are talking about syncing Val data to your Excel model. Here at Val, we recognize our clients have invested a lot of time creating their own proprietary Excel models and want to continue to use them. In addition, you may not want to spend time copying and pasting data. Val has the solution. Sync your Val data with your Excel model. The new Excel add-in does just that. With a one-time mapping exercise, rent rolls, cash flows, valuations, and assumptions, sync seamlessly from Val to your Excel model. All you need is some basic Excel skills, which we know you already have. If you love your Excel model, we want you to continue to use your Excel model. Val doesn't make you choose. In this training video, we will show you how to access and install the Excel add-in. In addition, we will provide a general overview and walk you through how to populate Val data into an Excel model. You don't need to worry about taking notes. At the end of the video, there will be a link available to download a PDF which will walk you through step-by-step -step everything we cover today. At the bottom of the video is a progress bar where you could access the table of contents to jump to specific topics. Let's get started. Now let's download and install the Excel add-in. First step, close any Excel files you may have open. Log into Val, then from the home screen, hover over your name and a drop-down menu will pop up. Click on Val Excel add-in and the add-in will download. If you hover over your name and you don't see Val Excel add-in in the menu, we need to activate that for you. Just contact your Val sales rep or email support at rockportval.com and someone will respond right away. It's completely free and takes just a moment for us to activate. No waiting. Once the add-in has downloaded, double-click the Rockport Val Excel button and follow the on-screen prompts to finish the installation. Some troubleshooting tips. If you double-click the download file and you see a blue screen that asks for more information or a similar message, click More Info and then click Run Anyway. Otherwise, just follow the on-screen prompts to install the add-in. That's it. I've already installed the add-in. Now I'm going to open a blank Excel file. You should see that the add-in is installed. You'll know that by the Rockport Val item here in the ribbon. Click Rockport Val on the ribbon and two icons will pop up. The About button with the Val icon and a Login button. In order to pull any data from Val, you need to log into Val from Excel. Click the Login button and the Val Login screen will pop up. That should look familiar. I have done this previously, so Val already recognizes my username. The first time you log in, you'll need to type in your Val login credentials, the same email address and password you use to log into Val regularly. Once you're logged in, the screen will update. You'll know you're logged in because the Val login button will now say Log Out, and you'll see a Select Property button that will give you the ability to choose a property to sync from Val to Excel. Now, click the Select Property button. Then watch as the model loads a list of all of the properties that I have access to in Val. Now choose a property from the list or search by property name. Start typing the property name in the search bar and click Enter or click the Property Name Search button. Click to select a property name, then click the Load button, and then watch as the model pulls the data from Val into Excel. Once the data is loaded, you'll see Val has added several worksheets to the model and they're all labeled by the name of the Val data source. Let's look at the data Val synced. The Property Info Worksheet has a general property overview including the property name, scenario, and basic model settings. Val pulls in cash flows on a monthly basis. The Valuation tab has pulled in all the valuations. In this example, multiple valuations were created in Val and each synced to Excel. Next tabs are Presentation Rent Roll and Growth Rates, which include all the standard growth rates that were input in Val for each year, including any custom growth rates. Next, Vacancy and Collection Loss Assumptions are here. Any tenants that were modeled in Val with vacancy overrides show up so you can see that the tenant has an override and what the replacement rate is. The rollover report shows all the different rollover assumptions in Val and the value in every single year of that rollover. 
Here is the blank worksheet that was in the model before we pulled in the VAL data. VAL only adds sheets to the existing model. It doesn't remove any worksheets or data from your original model. By default, there will always be three blank columns on the left and the five blank rows at the top. These blank spaces are deliberately placed here so that when you link up your own Excel model, you can add lookup helpers or side calculations. Even when you change properties, any data, calculations, or lookups you put in these blank rows and columns will be retained here. Nothing in the margins will be deleted. Now let's say you want to work on a different property. Just click the Switch Property button, select a different property name, and load the model as you did the first time. Now the information will update with the new property's data. What if you wanted to go back into Val and make changes to the property that you've already loaded to Excel? Just click the Refresh button and the model will update all the data for that property. Again, it won't change any inputs you may have made to the blank space in the margins. You'll also notice the model timestamps when this property was last loaded from Val. Remember Val's What If Scenario tool? All the scenarios that were created in Val sync to Excel, so you can choose which scenarios to run. By default, the model will load the baseline scenario, but you can easily change scenarios. For example, click the downside scenario, and Val will fetch the data and refresh the Excel model with the downside scenario. This only takes a few seconds, and now you can see the downside scenario has loaded. The property info page shows which scenario is running. You'll know the refresh is complete because you'll end up back on the property information screen each time the model refreshes, as you see here. You can see the monthly cash flows reflect the downside scenario that was selected, and of course, all the other VAL sheets will have updated to the downside scenario as well. You now have an idea of the data set VAL syncs and how to load it. Let's look at an example of how you might use the add-in with your own Excel model. I'll open an Excel model that has formatted templates. So this model is a proxy for your proprietary model. To be clear, VAL does not provide an Excel model template. We downloaded the sample model off the internet for the purposes of demonstrating the add-in. We'll put a link to this model at the end of the video so you can download it if you like. There are two formatted pages in the sample model, an amortization schedule and a returns worksheet, and we have already loaded VAL data, which you now know how to do. Here we have a loan amortization schedule and sizing calculator. Everything in the orange shaded cells pulls from the VAL worksheets. The NOI and net cash flow pull from the VAL monthly cash flow sheet. The model has loan sizing and debt parameters here. The value pulls from the VAL valuation sheet. This sheet is calculating the net cash flow after debt service, leveraging the property net cash flow which pulls from VAL. The partnership return spreadsheet is the equity waterfall. This runs on the property net cash flow after debt service using the monthly cash flows from VAL and then layers in the debt service from the amortization schedule. The exit assumptions in the orange fields here are pulled from the VAL valuation tab which are used to build out the equity waterfall. On the valuation tab, you can see we put some lookup helpers in the blank column and then we are flagging which value to use for the current value and we also flagged this for the exit value. The current value is linked up to the amortization schedule sheet, which is driving the loan sizing. Then the exit value is the price we are selling the property for after some specified hold period. Okay, so remember the concept of changing the property but retaining the lookups we placed in the margins? Let's see that in action. Let's switch the property, which you already know how to do. The new property has now loaded. Let's look at the updates to the model as a result of changing the property and we will make some tweaks. Let's reflag the valuations because we brought in different property values when we changed properties. Let's set the loan or current value to run off this one which looks like a purchase price. Then flag this one as the exit value. So we flag these values and now when we go over to the amortization schedule, you can see this is updated with the purchase value. The loan resized based on the new parameters. 
and we have new cash flow after debt service figures, all based on the new property's cash flow and value. Looking at partnership returns, these are all filled out and have changed and are accurately reflecting the sale. And here, there's this exit timing that lines up with the exit valuation we linked. And that is how Val's Excel added links Val data to your Excel model. Here is a link to the Excel template we used to demonstrate the partnership returns with thanks to adventuresincre.com. Additional resources are available to ensure you are successful, such as dozens of training videos across all property types, training manuals that are in PDF format and can be downloadable, and within the VAL applications, dozens of on-screen step-by-step tutorials. For additional assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at rockportval.com. Happy modeling and thanks for watching.